He's at the halfway mark of his administration's first term in office, and Governor Eddie Calvo says he and Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio have kept their word. We're fighting poverty, improving services in your government, and building for a sustainable future for this island. And tonight, Governor Eddie Calvo will deliver his third State of the Island address, discussing an array of topics, one of which will most likely include working tirelessly to fix Gulf Guam finances, an issue he discussed in his weekly address today. We paid out tax refunds. We also started paying old bills like the meritorious bonuses to outstanding employees, an unfunded mandate from 1991. It was with a clear directive to save and pay past due obligations that we are setting the tone for proper cash management throughout your government. Democratic Party of Guam Executive Director Carlo Branch, meanwhile, says he's rooting for Calvo to dwell on detailed plans in his State of the Island address. But what we really want from Adeloupe is a State of the Island address that is full of truths, not half-truths. Branch specifically is referring to the latest job reports issued by the Guam Department of Labor, indicating the island's workforce grew with nearly 1,300 new private sector jobs in one year, a sign Governor Calvo says is of the economy getting better. Branch, however, says the administration isn't telling the whole truth. The truth of the matter is that under Eddie Calvo's administration, we've lost 760 private sector jobs when compared to Governor Camacho's uh, term in office for the same time period. The governor's office today responded, saying the numbers speak for themselves. In his weekly address, Governor Calvo, meanwhile, says it hasn't been an easy road. The grumbling of naysayers still managed to grab some attention over the hard work we've put into stabilizing your government and finding solid ground. But that only emboldened us to work even harder. Well, I agree with him, but we should listen to the truth sayers. And when you compare Felix Camacho's uh, term in office for the same period against Eddie Calvo's, you'll notice two facts that are undebatable. Number one, uh, Eddie Calvo now has pushed more people into welfare. And number two, Felix Camacho was better for private sector work. Branch sent out a second release today saying more residents are on food stamps now than before Calvo assumed office, accounting for a 22.2 percent increase. It remains to be seen whether Calvo will address the Democratic Party's critiques, but Calvo says he has been working in bipartisan with the legislature and Congresswoman Madeline Berdallo. Our conversations in the spirit of bipartisanship will enhance our service for you who voted us into office. We're all working for the same thing, to make our island better than it already is for everyone. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintanilla.